Hi booktube, Lynette here and today's video is going to be the August TBR. Um, so first of all I have an apology to make, I'm sorry I'm in my exercise gear, I have my Hermione hair going on today. Um, it's Sunday, my videos go up on a Monday, I only have a couple of hours to film this and I need to get it done and I am not getting showered and changed again um, today, uh, so you're just going to have to take me as you find me this month. So like I say, this is my August TBR. Um, July was a free reading month for me. I had no set TBR um, other than my book club pick. Um, so I've decided that in August, again, I'm not going to go back to the wheel of TBR. I'm not reading the in-depth book for the month. I am just going to um, have another month where I'm not going to have kind of, I'm not going to have a set of TBR, but I do kind of have some books that I have to read. And what I thought I'd do is, other than the books that um, I'm going to try and get through this month, I'm going to try and clear down some of those books that I've started but not yet finished. So I'm going to do kind of what I did last October, um, try and avoid a reading slump this time um, and just see where I go from there. So as always, there will be a monthly book club pick. However, we haven't actually picked it yet at the time that I'm filming this video. So I'm not quite sure what it is. So you'll just have to wait and see uh, until my August wrap up what that is. But I haven't finished July's uh, August book club pick. And that book is Whistle in the Dark by Emma Healy. This is a copy from the library, which is why it's a bit shiny because it's wrapped in plastic. Um, this book is about a mother, it's told mainly from the mother's perspective. Her 15 year old daughter disappears while they're on an art retreat um, in the Peak District in the UK and they're trying to piece together what happened to the daughter who just says that she can't remember. I am almost halfway through it. When I'm reading it I'm really enjoying it, I'm really intrigued. Um, there's mental health representation in here um, but there's also trigger warnings for mental health and self-harm. Um, I just, I need to get through it. I'm filming this on the 1st of August. This is due back to the library by the 6th of August. So I have to finish it this week regardless because next Friday I've got to take it back to the library. Um, but yeah, we'll, uh, hopefully I'll get it read. I'm hoping once I've edited this video and got it uploaded ready for tomorrow evening that, um, I will be able to make some progress and hopefully get nearer to finishing it. I have a second library book that is due back around about the middle of August and that book is God's Grave by Jay Kristoff. Yes, I know Jay Kristoff is a controversial author because of some of the views uh, he has and that he has represented in this series, which is why I've got it from the library. I read Nevernight in January this year and I did want to continue the series. However, once I'd heard about the issues that people were having with this author, I decided that actually I wouldn't pick up his books. Um, and I had a look to see if I'd get them from the library instead. That way I'm not supporting the author, but I can still finish the series if I continue enjoying it. I did enjoy Nevernight. It's about a girl called Mia who trains to be an assassin because she wants to avenge her parents' death. Um, this picks up where the second, where the first book left off rather, the so this is the second book. Um, and I'm really intrigued, I want to find out where it goes from here. Uh, it is quite a well-liked series, it was very very popular a few years ago on YouTube. So I'm looking forward to find out what I eventually think of this series myself. So the next book that I want to read in the month of August is Meet Me in Hawaii by Georgia Toffolo. This is book two in Georgia's Meet Me series. I read uh, the first book, Meet Me in London, in July and thoroughly enjoyed it. And I really want to carry on the series. I have also received from NetGalley an advanced reader copy of Meet Me in Tahiti, which also releases towards the end of August. So again, I want to get that one read. So those two, because they're the second and third books in the series, I want to get them read in uh, that order. And I want to read them both and get the reviews up before the third book releases towards the end of the month. These books are about four women who are lifelong friends and they are... Uh, going out into the world and meeting their significant others, happy ever afters. Uh, they're fun, fresh, 
I thoroughly enjoyed reading Meet Me in London in uh, July so I'm really looking forward to picking these two up. They're going to be nice light reads um, which I think hopefully will carry me through the month um, based on my reading plans otherwise. As well as Meet Me in Tahiti, I have a second advanced reader copy that needs to be read in August, although this could be left towards the end of the month because it uh, is a book that releases in September. I'm just trying to read them the month before they release rather than um, trying to scramble and get it all done at the last minute. Uh, this book is Traitors of the Black Crown by Kate Pierce. This is about three women um, and a revenge story and it's also a fantasy romance. So it's about a woman, Raina, whose family are murdered by the Queen's guards and she disguises herself as a male knight. She meets a duchess uh, while she's disguised and they fall in love and they're plotting to kill the Queen but then events happen and somehow they get drawn into another plot. That's all I know about it. It sounded really up my street when I was browsing through NetGalley and looking at potential uh, advanced copies to request to read in August so I'm looking forward to picking it up. Um, again like I say probably not until towards the end of the month because it's not due out until September so if I don't read it until the end of the month maybe finishing in early September uh, it won't be a problem but it's actually not releasing until the 22nd of September if it is something that sounds like you might enjoy it. So after that here is where I may be pushing myself into a reading slump for the month uh, like I say, the rest of the month is going to be picked from books that I've already started but not yet finished. Um, this is an idea that I had uh, last year and I actually did it in October. Like I say, it did put me into a bit of a reading slump at that time. But it was based on um, the fact that a friend of mine laughed at me when I told them just how many books I had started but not yet finished. They couldn't believe that I was... Um, quite that disorganised that I couldn't finish a book after I've started it. Uh, but yes, that's me. I do that sometimes. Um, I'm not as bad as I used to be. I used to have multiple books on the go at the same time and used to be reading different books for different reasons. So I'd have one that I took out of the house with me. I had one that was um, I was reading at bedtime. I had one that I'd be reading during the day. Uh, I'm not like that anymore. I do tend to read just one book at a time and that is the only book I have going. But sometimes I start books and for whatever reason I'm enjoying them but I just can't finish them. So I put them down to read something else and, and then with the full intention of coming back to them later. So let's go through the books that I could potentially be reading this month. I think what I'm going to do, I haven't done it yet, um, but where I've got the wheel of TBR that I usually spin to find out which books I should read for the month. I'm thinking I might set up a Wheel of TBR either with prompts based on the books. Um, so maybe pick a fantasy read, pick a romance, because the, the, there's things that could uh, match up with more than one book um, for me to select. Or I might just put those books in a wheel and film it as I go. Um, not quite sure, but I'll see how I get on. If I do that, then maybe I would consider vlogging while I'm reading those. I'm not too sure. I haven't quite decided. I'll see how the month of August goes and I'll see how the reading goes. So the only actual, other than Whistle in the Dark, um, which I'm going to try and finish initially just to get that one rounded off, the only other physical book that I've started and not yet finished is The Silmarillion by J.R. Tolkien and Christopher Tolkien. I started this a couple of months ago. Um, I'm about a third of the way through it. Uh, it's quite heavy going, so it's one that I'm reading in bits and pieces. So I'm not sure if it's one that I'll aim to finish throughout this month or whether I'll just aim to make some progress, maybe read some of it in the evenings and maybe read something else during the day while I'm at work. Um, but yeah, I really want to make a bit more progress on this one because I am enjoying it. I love Middle Earth. Um, the Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings are some of my all-time favourite books so it would be really great if I could get through some more of the history of the world. So another book that I'm hoping to get through a fair amount of um, in this particular coming week anyway because I'm at work we're having a shutdown of the factory and I'm going to be working on my own for the week uh, most of the week so 
they've said you know if I want to play something in the background then I can do and I'm thinking that maybe I will put on an audiobook and I have the audiobook of A Clash of Kings by George R. R. Martin on the go um I've pretty much finished the first part I've got about 20 hours of the audiobook I think left to listen to so I'm hoping I can make some good progress on that one again it's not one that I'm going to aim to finish but it is one that I'm going to aim to make more progress on uh, for those who don't know this is the second book in the Game of Thrones series which is based in a fictional fantasy world there are lots of wars and um plots to overthrow thrones and yeah so there's lots of death there's lots of sex there's lots of gore i am enjoying it i'm just finding it a real hard slog because there's so much information in these books that it's very very difficult to take a lot of it in um, and i find that actually unless i'm going to listen to it in a real big chunk of time um I find that I don't really make very much progress and I don't really take it in as well as maybe some other lighter books that I would listen to or read. So it is one that I need chunks of time to absorb rather than just small snippets, um, which is what I usually get for listening to audiobooks. Another one that I think could actually be quite an easy finish for me um, because I have been reading it on my lunch break uh, towards the end of July. And that is um, Happy Howling Holidays, Shifter's Romance, Set at Christmas. It's an anthology that came out quite a few years ago now. I had started it. Um, I'd only read about halfway through it. I'm now up to about 90%, so I've nearly finished it. So I think this really could be an easy finish for me because it is romance novels based around shifters, set around Christmas, and it's just different people finding their happy ever afters. They're not heavy reads, they're ones that I can easily read in my lunch break without needing to um, absorb lots of information. So I'm hoping that maybe in this coming week that that will be an easy early finish for me. Another book that's been hanging around for a long time is the Percy Jackson series. I am halfway through the third book. Um, right now I can't remember the title of it off the top of my head and I haven't written it down. So I will put um, the... Uh, cover up on the screen for you i'm about halfway through this book um and i need to get it finished it's been hanging around for a long time and i just need to get it finished i was enjoying the percy jackson series uh, for anybody that doesn't know they are greek mythological retellings but set in the modern day world set around a young boy called percy jackson who has discovered that he is descended from a greek god and he needs to save the world from the evils of other Greek gods who aren't happy with the way things are. Again, I was really enjoying them. Um, and they're ones that uh, I think my nephew has enjoyed as well because he has gotten around to reading them um, recently. So I'm looking forward to picking them up so I can talk about them with him as well. I'm only going to aim to finish book three. I have a bind up of the whole series. Um, but I am only going to aim to finish book three and uh, maybe leave book four for another month. Another fantasy book that I've had on the go is a book by Daniel Aronson and it is called A Birthright of Blood and this is book two of his Dragon War trilogy. Again, I have it in bind up. I started this book a few years ago now and again, I kind of, I'd read the first book in the series, started the second book and just kind of thought, no, I need to move on to something else. But I was enjoying it. Um, it's about a world where, fantasy world, where dragon shifters um, rule the world, rule the skies, rule the land. And it's about a war, good versus evil. I can't really remember much more than that, um, other than I was enjoying it and I need to get on and finish it. Like I say, it is in a bind up of the trilogy. So if I do pick this one up, then my aim will be just to finish book two and to put book three on the back burner for another day. And the next book on the partially red pile and one that's been intimidating me is Dragonfly in Amber by Diana Gabaldon. This is an historical romance novel and it's about Claire who is transported from 1940s um, England back to 1700s Scotland and there she meets Jamie and they fall in love and 
things happen from there, adventures happen from there. In book two we see them um, travel to France to escape what's happened to them in book one and for Jamie to heal from what happened in book one. I got halfway through this book um, and I have watched the TV series and thoroughly enjoyed the TV series and I think that's what kept me going the first time around I was trying to read this because I had that to fall back on and it jogged my memory and helped with a lot of the detail because there is a lot of information in these books. I have read recently that actually the early couple of books are a bit of a slog to get through so if you once you get through these um, the rest of them become much easier to read so I'm hoping uh, that I can actually make some more progress. So like I say, I'm about halfway through it. Unfortunately, I've lost my place in the book. So I don't really know where I got up to. So if I pick this one up, I'm either going to randomly go to halfway through the book and just start reading again, or I'm going to start all over again, which I don't really want to do, but I don't know what I'm going to do about it. So I will see where I go from there. Um, and I'll let you know how I get on if I get to this one um, in my August wrap up. And the final book that I'm going to add to this list is Sword of Destiny by Andrzej Sapkowski. This is a fantasy novel. Again, it's a series of uh, short stories based in a fantasy world. It is about Geralt the Witcher, who uh, is a fantasy character who has special powers and he fights evil monsters uh, with those powers. It's one I'm about 60% of the way through and again it's one that I want to um, move forward with. Um, I read the previous set of short stories in the series and thoroughly enjoyed them and I want to finish this one and try and move into the books proper. Um, I got the whole series, I bought them quite a few years ago now uh, with the intention of reading them one after the other but it didn't quite happen like that. Um, I think my tolerance for reading big series in one hit has seriously waned over the years so I do need to to read them piecemeal um, and I think this is one of those that became victim to that but I'm going to give it a go and see if this one comes up. So that's the list of books that I have to read and the books I'm hoping to make some at least some progress with this month. Um, so it might not be lots of finishes, the wrap up might just be um, yes I made progress, yes I made progress, yes I made progress, we'll see how it goes, um, but I'm looking forward to it, um, hopefully I don't put myself into a reading slump, uh, heaven knows what I'm going to do if I do put myself into a reading slump, um, maybe I'll just have to pick up some old favourites and try and get myself out of it again, um, but that's what I'm looking forward to reading. What are you planning to read in August? Let me know in the comments down below. I do enjoy hearing from you all down there. I upload videos every Monday at 6.30pm UK time and I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Bye!